The Big Bang Theory provides hypotheses and information about the creation of the cosmic microwave background radiation. During the formation of the early universe and shortly after the Big Bang, the universe was very, very hot. Shortly after the origin of the fundamental forces, the universe was full of fundamental particles. These particles included quarks, electrons, and neutrinos. At this point, these particles could not combine because of the extreme heat in the early universe. And the entire universe was a plasma. A plasma is one of the four states of matter, the others being solids, liquids, and gases. In a plasma, all molecular bonds have been disassociated or broken apart. A plasma is characterized by a large number of ions, which are electrically charged atoms or groups of atoms. They can be positive or negative. At this point in the universe, it was full of radiation or light waves that were shooting around throughout the entire universe. These light waves are also known as photons. And at this point, the photons could not combine with any of the particles in the universe. These photons were shooting around the entire universe, but they would never travel very far because they always ran into particles, but still could not be absorbed by them. Since these photons or this radiation could never be absorbed by particles, the universe was opaque. Being opaque is the opposite of transparent. And so this means if you were in this early universe, you wouldn't be able to see through it. You would only see this bright wall of photons or light. As the universe continued to expand and to cool, the first protons and neutrons and nuclei began to form. First, the quarks, one of the fundamental particles that were in our universe, began to combine to make protons and neutrons. And then the protons and neutrons began to combine to make hydrogen and helium ions or nuclei. Even though these particles have begun to combine, this radiation or all of these photons are still around. But at around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the electrons in the universe started to combine with the protons and neutrons, or the nuclei. This was the first time that full neutral atoms of hydrogen and helium were formed. The universe used to have lots and lots of particles everywhere, and so its density was really high. But as these particles combined to make full hydrogen and helium atoms, the density of the universe began to decrease. Finally, the photons or this light radiation can now travel freely throughout the universe. They are no longer being bounced between particles because the density or the space between the particles has increased as the smaller particles have combined to become larger ones, to become the hydrogen and helium atoms that we have in our universe. So now today we can look back at this old light or this old radiation in our universe. And we can see this wall of radiation or photons that represent this old light from the beginning or early part of our universe. And this is what we call the cosmic microwave background radiation. And so the Big Bang Theory predicts that we should be able to see this leftover heat or photons and radiation from the early very hot universe. And we see evidence of this radiation in the cosmic microwave background. And this is why the cosmic microwave background radiation is one of the primary evidences of the Big Bang Theory today.